Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian Superman's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation Investing. This video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, March 14th, 2018. It's the week everyone is Irish because it's also the week of St. Paddy's Day. Now, if this is your first time here, you have comic books, pop culture, and other great videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that bell notification so that way you never miss a future upload. Kicking us off this week, we have Action Comics number 999. The General. Superman's journey through time has crashed to a halt, and at the end of the line, General Sam Lane stands face to face for the first time with his grandson, John. Buckle up, because the most awkward super family reunion in history is about to begin. There's a regular cover by Brett Booth. There's also a gorgeous regular priced variant for this as well. Next, we have Batgirl and the Birds of Prey number 20. This is part two to the full circle story arc. With the Birds of Prey fractured by the last issue's events, the team must set aside their feelings of mistrust and work together to find the calculator. There's a regular cover by Terry and Rachel Dotson, but there's also a gorgeous regular priced variant by Adam Hughes. Detective Comics number 976. This is part one to Batman Eternal. With this team completely shattered, Batman must confront Red Robin about the future of their partnership, if there even is one. There's a regular cover by Eddie Burrows. There's also a regular priced variant by Raphael Albuquerque. Flash number 42. This is going to be part four to Perfect Storm. The Flash teams up with an unlikely ally as the fight for Central City rages on. Meanwhile, Grodd sinks his telepathic teeth into the Flash family as he tries to finish Barry Allen once and for all. We have a regular cover by Carmine D. Giannominico. There's also a regular priced variant by David Finch and Danny Mickey. Justice League of America number 26. This brings us to the finale of New Life and Death as the battle for the soul of Engel rages on. Batman and Black Canary face Lord Havoc and his mad army of loyal servants. But it will be up to the adjudicator to decide who will have any say over Angor's rebuilding and who will die. There's a regular cover by Mikel Janin. There's also a gorgeous regular priced variant by Francesco Martina. Scooby Apocalypse number 23. With their new base of operations established, the gang begins the search for their last remnants of human race. Now this is going to have a regular cover by Jill Thompson, but it also has a regular priced Gorgeous variant, which is also my pick of the week, and that's a monster zombie variant by Ben Oliver. Now looking at Comicron, Scooby Apocalypse issue number 21 just had sales figures over about 12,000 copies. So I love this cover. Uh, yeah, it's still kind of high given how the split might be, but 12,000 still isn't a huge print run. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to pick it up, and that's why it's also my pick of the week. Suicide Squad number 37. This is the finale to Drain the Swamp. Hack is out for blood now that our killer has stepped forward. While the squad tries to protect themselves from Hack's onslaught, Waller does everything she can to keep her secrets buried. There's a regular cover by Jorge Jimenez. There's also a regular price variant by Andrea Sorrentino. Supergirl number 19. In his search to write a cat coat piece on the truth about Supergirl, Ben Rubel interviews a young kid named Lee Serrano who recently became friends with the Girl of Steel. As Lee struggles with their parents and bullies at school for acceptance as non-binary, Supergirl is caught between punching her way through the problem and standing beside Lee as a symbol of hope. We have a regular cover by Jorge Jimenez. There's also a gorgeous regular priced variant by Stanley Lau, known as Art Germ. Versus number two. Now, I really enjoyed the first issue, so I'm going to continue to pick this up. Ivan Branding on writing. Hassad Rubik is on interior art and cover art. This is going to have three different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Assad Rubik. There's a regular priced variant by Assad Rubik and Tom Muller. There's also a regular priced virgin wraparound variant by Assad Rubik as well. Now go back, listen to that again, and every time I mention Assad Rubik, take a drink. Avengers number 684. This is going to be part 10 to No Surrender. He's back from the dead. He cannot be reasoned with. He will not be stopped. Bruce Banner isn't home right now. There's only the Immortal Hulk. That's right. This is the big appearance of Immortal Hulk. Now, I know in Avengers 682, he appears on the last page, but this is the issue where he's really coming back, and I'm really looking forward to it. A lot of places online have this allocated to one per person right now, so make sure you're on the look for it. There's going to be a regular Mark Brooks cover, but there's also a regular priced variant by Scotty Young, and it's going to be the Pickle Rick cover. I mean, no, it's the Scotty Young baby variant. Sorry, no Pickle Rick. Looks like Pickle Rick. Doctor Strange number 387. This is going to be a tie-in to the Doctor Strange Damnation story. Strange is captive in Mephisto's Hotel Inferno. His only chance to get out is winning on the casino floor. But remember, the house always wins. Weapon X number 15. This is titled Happy Birthday, Old Man Logan. In this issue, Old Man Logan and Sabretooth 
go at it. 16 adamantium claws and berserker rage. This is a knockdown, drag out fight to the death. And I absolutely love this cover by Eric Canetti. Rock and Roll Biography System of a Down. This is a one shot, comes from Acme Inc. that basically covers the biography of System of a Down, how they rose to fame in the early 2000s, and how they came from California and took the world by storm. I'm a huge System of a Down fan, so I must pick this up and I look forward to reading it. Sugar! Betrothed number one. This is from Aftershocks Comics. Kieran and Tamara are both seniors at the same high school. They've never paid much attention to each other, even though they're the only kids at school who are orphans. On the eve of their 18th birthdays, they discover a lifelong secret and dimension far away. They are each the leader of an army that is at war with one another. And what's more, when they turn 18, they are to either be betrothed or fight each other to the death. There's a regular cover by Steve Oi. There's also a regular priced variant by Juan Doe. Vampironica number one this is a new ongoing series from Archie Comics. When Veronica is bitten by a centuries old vampire, her thirst for blood threatens to turn Riverdale into a haven for the undead. Will she put an end to the vampire threat or give in to her bloodlust? There's going to ship with five different covers. There's a regular Greg Smallwood cover. There's a regular price Francesca Franca Villa variant. There's a regular price Audrey Mock variant. There's a regular priced Morissette fan variant. And there's also a regular priced Margaret Savage variant. Jim Henson's Power of the Dark Crystal number 12. This is the finale of this 12 issue miniseries. If you like me, I grew up in the 80s, I enjoyed Dark Crystal the movie, gave me nightmares as a kid, but anyways, I really enjoyed this miniseries, I'm going to pick up this final issue, there are two covers for it, there's a regular cover by Mark Buckingham, there's also a regular price variant by Sanaa Takeda. Lord of Gore number 4, this is from Devil's Due Publishing, in the wake of viewing the murder tape, Danny and Abby have some face time with Sebastian who asked them to turn it over, when they refuse, he is quite disappointed, and Sebastian is not a man who takes disappointment well. Meanwhile, Matt tracks second headsman Reed Daniels to a farm north of the city. When the gang shows up with questions, the current psychotic, murderous headsman crashes the party. Somebody's not getting cake. There's a regular cover by Daniel Leister, but what I like, and why I even have that in this video, is a regular price variant by Stuart Seiger. Which I probably butchered that name. But it's a horror comic, so that's allowed. Malefic number five. Froyce dishes out harsh treatment during a session that leaves her questioning her own sociopathic behavior. Maybe her new sordid reputation is deserved. When she sees the opportunity to try a dangerous experiment on a sentient mannequin, the results are predictably catastrophic, and it begins to look like inmate 11's malevolent influence is pushing Froyce close to the same abyss of insanity that swallowed her father. Hollywood Undead Origins. This is a 56-page one-shot that ties in with the release of Hollywood Undead's fifth studio album. It follows Hollywood Undead's members from the gritty roots as graffiti artists in the back alleys of Hollywood Boulevard to their international success as platinum and gold album selling supergroup. Now, just like System of a Down, I'm a big fan of Hollywood Undead, so I'm really looking forward to pick this up, and I'm going to give it a read. So there you have it, guys. Those are my picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, March 14th, 2018. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy St. Patty's Day and you're old enough to enjoy those other festivities, please be safe out there. Take an Uber. You know what you got to do. Anyways, it's Brown Superman's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation Investing, and I'll see you guys next week.